welcome once again to Evervale and the 1982 final. Five days of enthralling snooker, which produced a blend of good fortune, good play, and some moments of humor. Round ball. Black, sorry. One. <laughs> Doug Mountjoy. Foul stroke. an extraordinary steeplechase. In addition to the £12,000 prize money, there was the added attraction of £500 for the highest break of the tournament. It's Cliff Wilson from Caldecott at the table in his semi-final against Terry Griffiths. Now, he would have preferred the white just a little further down the table, but... 37. Thirty-eight. Forty-four. Now this time I think he has to disturb the Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Five hundred pounds for the highest break of the championship. Sixty-five. And Terry Griffiths has that for seventy-nine at the moment. Sixty-six. Seventy-two. And he disturbs those two difficult ones. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Seventy-nine. The highest 80. break of the championship so far. Eighty-seven. And he's got a possible 122 here. That's if he gets the black with his red. Eighty-eight. <laughs> Blue, of course, in a very difficult position on that side cushion. Magnificent break by Cliff Wilson. Putting himself two frames in front. Yellow respot. <coughs> Ninety-two. Shot that getting the blue 
spill out into the center of the table. Ninety-nine. And he's playing this left-handed. This trophy and total prize money, remember, of £12,000 at stake, £5,000 of which goes to the winner of the match in progress between Terry Griffiths, who beat Cliff Wilson in the semi-final, and Dad Mountjoy, who disposed...